Hey, we're glass animals. Well, two of glass. glass animals. This is Joe. Hi. I'm Dave, and we're going to talk to you about why we love South London so much. I came here a lot when I was a kid, on like school trips and things. Um, and did. yeah, yeah, I did. Too. Yeah, the Horny Man Museum. Oh, yeah. It's definitely quite odd for South London. <laughs> it's a really like beautiful building and there's a like petting zoo outside, and there's an aquarium inside, and there's a walrus. This is the Horny Man Museum, or as they call it in South London, the Horny Man Museum. Horny Man. Horny Man Museum. And I used to spend some time here when I was a kid. Um, so it's nice to be back. It's changed. Everything feels a lot smaller, including the main feature of the room, which is the walrus. It's um, tiny. It's a lot smaller than I remember it. I remember it being the size of a, I don't know, a football pitch or something. This, I mean, it's quite large. The story is, is they, they stuffed it too much. Oh, wow. They kept pushing f cotton or foam into it, whatever. Water. Through its mouth? Right? Yeah, through its mouth. Yeah. yeah, and they just overfilled it. And so it's much fatter than any walrus should ever be. Um, but I think that's kind of cool. Um, the ornament walrus. Yeah, I definitely got in trouble for climbing on here when I was younger. Crystal Palace, another place you come on school trips. Yeah, you can see the palace behind us. Beautiful. Um, yeah, they took it down. No, it burnt down. It burnt down. It burnt down. Burnt down I bit. should know this. I was probably told that on a school trip. But yeah, Crystal Palace got some amazing dinosaurs. I remember loving when I was a kid. Yeah, apparently. So right, these are the oldest dinosaur models in ever. the world. They are. Yeah, they actually are. Yeah. So people didn't even know what dinosaurs looked like, but they kind of, they actually look quite frightened, don't they? They look like that. Actually, it all looks like they're staring at a meteor that's about to hit them in the face. I think back in two thousand and seven, I think, I first moved to South London to Old Kent Road. Um, and yeah, that's where, that's where I got a job and started working there and got another job at night, started DJing. Um, and in North London, I used to go and do my DJ set and come back really wired late at night and everyone was asleep. Um, so I had nothing to do except try to make music. So I started making music. This is my old house. This is really weird. It looks really nice and fresh and clean and green which is amazing, like all the plants definitely were dead when I was here. There's like a fire station behind and we had a New Year's party and someone spray painted an enormous penis on the roof. Um, and, the fire, and the fire station rang up our landlord and told us about it. So we spent, we spent like the first couple of days of January scrubbing a penis off of our roof. Um, that was pretty bad. So there's the petrol station over there and one night one night we heard some kind of weird there was some kind of kerfuffle and some bangs and things and then we woke up the next morning there's a bullet hole going through the like the kind of glass screen that protects the uh, protects the petrol station the first ever glass animals demos were done in that house which we saw a second just around the corner um, just late at night way too late at night it, does, it never kind of sleeps around here. There are always weird people walking around and strange characters. So all of those first songs are about all these weird characters that happen down in this, this part of the city. I guess, yeah, it's, we've, we've missed London. We've missed England. We've been in America so much. Um, and it's good to come back to the classic English weather. Um, it's good to be back in England where we have our friends and familiar faces. Um, and back to where people understand sarcasm. So it's nice to be back where people are cynical and people will be angry. Ouch, Dave, get your claws in. <laughs> so that's a bit mean, maybe.